Thank you for purchasing a Turbo Twister in-ground pool slide from SR Smith. In the next few minutes, we will show you how to successfully install the included gasket material to ensure a leak-free assembly. For more detailed instruction, please refer to the printed gasket installation instructions provided with the slide. Let's get started. When removing the Turbo Twister from the packaging, be sure to lay the slide sections on a soft surface, such as cardboard, to avoid scratching the pieces. The Turbo Twister's runway consists of an entry, middle, and exit flume section. Each of the joints between the ladder and entry flume section, top and middle flume section, and middle and exit flume section need to have the appropriate gasket material properly installed to ensure a leak-free installation. The Turbo Twister will come with two different size pieces of gasket material. One is 1 quarter inch high by 3 8 inch wide by 30 inches long, and the other is 1 half inch high by 1 half inch wide by 12 feet long. When handling the rubber gasket, be careful not to stretch the material, as stretching may cause the gasket to become too thin to make an adequate seal. To successfully and correctly install the gasket material, we recommend that you also have a pair of scissors or a sharp knife, a clean rag, and some denatured alcohol. Before installing the gasket material on the joints, make sure that all surfaces that the gaskets will be applied to are clean and free of contaminants. You can do this by running a clean rag with some denatured alcohol along the joints where the gaskets will be installed. Next, find joint number one as identified in the gasket installation instructions. Joint number one is where the top of the runway entry section meets the top ladder section. Remove the protective film from the back of the 1 quarter inch by 3 8 inch by 30 inch gasket piece. When removing the protective film, be careful not to peel away the adhesive too. Apply the gasket to the top runway section as shown here. The top edge of the gasket should be aligned with the edge of the radius adjacent to the runway surface. After the gasket material is securely installed on the first joint, identify joint number two. The second joint is where the runway entry section meets the middle runway section. For this joint, use the one half inch by one half inch gasket material. This gasket comes in a 12 foot long piece that needs to be cut to the appropriate length. To do this, lay the material along the groove at the bottom of the runway entry section and cut it to length. Remove the protective film from the back of the piece you just cut and apply the gasket to the groove. Measure a second piece of gasket to fit the groove at the top of the middle runway section. Remove the protective film from the back of the piece you just cut and apply the gasket to the groove. Note that the joints are not all the same length and you should measure and cut the gasket material for each joint to ensure the best fit. Finally, install the gasket the same way on joint number three. Joint number three is where the middle flume section meets the exit flume section. Again, lay the material along the groove at the bottom of the runway section and cut it to length. Remove the protective film from the back of the piece you just cut and apply the gasket to the groove. Measure a second piece of gasket to fit the groove at the top of the exit runway section.
Remove the protective film from the back of the piece you just cut and apply the gasket to the groove. After all of the joints have been reinforced with the provided gasket material, proceed with assembling the slide as normal according to the assembly and installation instructions included with the slide. Thank you for purchasing an SR Smith Turbo Twister in-ground pool slide. For more information, please visit us at www.srsmith.com or call us at 800-824-4387 and we would be happy to assist you.